everybody. How are we doing today? Hi. I'm doing good, Gabby. How are you doing, really? Well, I've been working hard, you know, and I am going to take a vacation. Vacation? Where are you going to go? Well, I think I'm going to go to Prince Edward Island. Well, that's a good place to go for a vacation. I go there, and you you were there a bit a uh, few weeks uh, for a couple of weeks. Now you're back home. You're going back again? Yeah, well, I had so much fun. I'm going back again. Well, that's good. You know, vacations are important. Uh, yes, they are. They're very important. In the Gospel of Mark, in chapter five, down in the Verse 35 or somewhere there, we find that even Jesus wanted to get away and get away from the crowd and have a little break. Yes, he did. Didn't work out well for him, though, did it? Uh, the crowd came and kept following him. But, uh, yeah, uh, that indicates that we all need to take a break. And Jesus also took a break from day-to-day -day things. And he spent time in prayer in, in the garden. Yes, that's right, too, yeah. So, a vacation can be a time of, of renewal. Yeah, I uh, I always like to take a vacation. It's uh, important, you know, that uh, when even pastors need to take a vacation now and again. What? Yeah, we need a vacation. Well, maybe you should take a break and work. What do you mean, work? Well... Look at it this way. You only work one day a week. I do more than that, Cap. Come on. We all pastors work hard. It takes a long time. To, for example, uh, the textbooks tell us it takes about 10 hours to prepare a sermon. Well, then I guess you need to spend a little more time than, than uh, the 10 hours. If you're spending 10 hours, you need to do t spend more time. What do you mean by that? Just saying. Ah, uh, okay. You're picking on me today, aren't you? Yes. Just truth hurts, does it? <laughs> no, you, you've got the wrong concept, though, I think, of what we do. Yeah, maybe. But still, you only work on Sunday. And even on Sunday, you only work one hour to do a service. Which was that simple, uh, but we have a high rate of burnout in in pastors, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm picking on you a bit, but how? However. Yeah, however, you you're you're enjoying this, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But we, everybody needs a vacation. Doesn't matter what your vocation is, and even if you're retired and you're in a routine, uh, and doing things and. Retired people are very busy, too, and need a break as well. Everybody needs a break, a change, and uh, to get to get renewed. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, people that work in the church, Sunday school teachers, the, the uh, church boards, and so on and so forth, all need to get away sometimes and just take a break from all that work because it, it, it's usually work on top of what other things they do. Yeah, I guess so. So, those of you who are on vacation, I, I hope you enjoy it, that you all get renewed, and uh, I'm not sure what I want to say about you. Uh, like, what are you suggesting? Well, when your vacation is officially over, are you going to get back to work? Yes, I am. And even talking to you is part of my ministry, part of what I do. You know that? Yeah, I know. But I'm, I'm fortunate. I, I have a dummy to work with me. I think you said enough, Gabby. Maybe so. God bless everybody. Have a good vacation. Have a good week. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone, and have a good week.